Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nurul Amna Shufia binti Mama Uthman from 5 Amanah. Today, I will explain about one of the application of Archimedes principle that is Cartesian Diver. Occasionally, great signs happen in a bath. Archimedes, a scientist from ancient Greece, noticed how his bath overflow when he sat down in the tub. This was the spark for Archimedes principle, which states that an object immersed in water will experience an upwards buoyant force equal to the weight of the water displaced. To be able to float, an object has to displace its weight in water. Object float or sink depending on their density, or in the other words, how heavy they are compared to their size. Dense, dense objects such as rocks cannot displace enough water to support their weight, so they sink. Meanwhile, less dense objects like wood can displace their weight in water and float. A Cartesian diver is a closed system used to demonstrate Archimedes principle. Cartesian divers are made with an air bubble which causes them to float when placed in the water. In a sealed, bot in a sealed bottle of water, the Cartesian diver will just float at the surface. When the bottle is squeezed, the pressure inside goes up and the air bubble gets smaller. As the bubble is compressed, the diver fills with water cause it to lose buoyancy or sink. Releasing the pressure caused the bubble to expand again, pushing out the water and allowing the diver to float again. Scuba divers and submarines have to be able to float and sink just like the Cartesian diver. Scuba diver use a tank of air to swim under the water. That tank acts just like the bubble. To sink, scuba diver have to wear weight belts to counter the effect of their tank bubble. Submarines are built with huge empty tank inside them. To sink, they fill this tank with water, and that makes the submarine denser and cause it to sink. To surface, they blow air in the tank, and the air will create air bubble that makes the submarine less dense and cause them to float.